and there is uh, one last thing is the actual face although we have all of the points but we don't know yet uh, what point should uh, make a face so that's what we will do right now so if chord uh, we need the in direction operator because the chord is uh, pointer so if chord zero so the first character is f letter f this mean face i think we have we don't have to examine the letter which uh, follows it because there is just one kind of line which start with f so there is no, n no something like fn or something so if the first character is f then we do the thing okay so in here we just create a few variables so a b c d e we need a few variable or how many do we need okay i just open the test.object and how many variable do we need one two three four and one so five uh, th five variable do we need it is exactly five great all right so now we just uh, read it uh, before we do that actually we have to examine that is it a quad or is it a triangle if it is a quad then we uh, uh, call another constructor and use an another s scan f pattern uh, i use an std function so from the standard template library stl sorry about that stl function so the standard template library called count count will count uh, something that we give uh, it weighs the pointer to the first element it is called iterator so we have a chord i begin this is uh, the iterator of the string if you want to go uh, go to the string reference page and check it okay we give the last uh, address of the element so chord i and oh these are function actually okay and the last one is what do we want to search we want to search the space if it is uh, so if we count uh, four space then it is a quad as it, it is a triangle definitely so as it is a triangle okay and just here we just read it so first of all i use the s scan f again and the first is the chord i uh, c str so the string the next is the pattern this is start with f and then it follows by an int slash slash int okay then again oh not int d so it is a decimal not integer although it is an integer variable but if it is in the pattern it's called d okay basically we do the same with the other ones so one mm, oh two three four okay so we have four uh, uh, so four uh, because here we have four uh, vertex because it is a quad the vertex is made by uh, so the face is made by four vertex so that's why we use four and then we just need the put to put the variables so in here uh, i just put the add close the double quotes and then i just put the names of the variables so a and then the b will be the face number as you can see the face number in every line it is the same in here so we have to just read uh, once to this b okay and uh, c then b then d then b okay oh what kind of letter is that it wanted to be d 
okay and uh, last one so e and d again okay that's about it we just read the b is this variable so it is the second so how the face number basically and the a uh, c uh, d and e variables are the vertex numbers it is actually b okay here we go and now we just push it back so faces actually uh, that's what it's called uh, yes faces and just put it back so faces that push back new face and uh, we just give the variable so the face number is the b and then a c d and e okay that's about it and to make everything quick i just copy it except that it has one less fa uh, vertex which create the face uh, and we need w uh, two less variable okay and i just call it without e that's about it okay we read everything which we need at the moment we read the normal vectors and we read the faces the vertexes everything okay and now basically the actual drawing comes we have all the everything which is need actually i just uh, let me delete it because i will forget it as so for int i equals zero i less than faces that size i plus plus and i just delete it so delete faces i okay and i will delete the what other uh, vector do we have normals and vertex okay copy copy normals and here normals and here vertex and here vertex too okay we avoid memory leaks with this four line so we can draw it uh, we go through everything we read everything which we will need so draw okay this will be a little tricky but not too much okay i need to create an integer and i call it uh, num not matter which you want which do you call and i use the gl get uh, gl gen list uh, function and i create one list uh, so we use a display list to store all of the points so we can quickly draw it whenever we need by just call the gl call uh, gl call list and we are drawing uh, what we need okay and actually num equal to this hmm. okay num equal to this so we basically generate a unique number for our display list although as you can as you saw earlier you can use a number which you just uh, um, uh, which you just create manually but you can uh, generate one so it will be unique so we can use this function this save function to load uh, thousands of uh, different uh, 3d meshes and uh, the only difference is that this num will be r uh, different so it will be only increasing by one and then uh, when we return we can call the list whatever uh, we want okay so now we need to draw it so uh, first of all we need to create the actual list so gl new list the first parameter for this is the number and the second is do you want to just compile or do you want to actually execute so draw it for now we just compile so gl compile that's it and uh, there is a corresponding gl end list all right now we use a for loop to go through all of the faces and just draw it so for int i equals zero i less than uh, faces dot size because we go through all of the faces i plus plus and okay here we put uh, the drawing if this is a quad so if faces i 
uh, four. So if it is a quad, then we draw a quad basically. So GL begin. GL quads. So we draw a quad. Uh, and GL end. All right, that's about it. And now we have to actually draw it. First of all, we have to draw the normal vector. So use the GL normal free F as you have so seen earlier. And we get it, the normal from the normal normal vector, which we have created up here. So normal and we fill it with the normal vectors. Okay, so normals. And then we get what face are we? So what face? Uh, yes. So face is I, and and uh, we just get the face number. So the face number. So this is actually this variable. So in this case of this first line, this will be one. The case of the second line, two, and so on. So the last uh, vertex is six, so we get that uh, uh, number, a face number, but we uh, subtract one from it because we will use as an index. So which is one in here, actually the index zero. This two is actually the index one and so on because the C++ start to index from zero. Okay, and we get the X from it. Okay, little. it seems a little tricky, but if you think about it, it is quite easy. So, for example, for this second, we will get the second number because face is... Uh, uh, so the face num is 2. We uh, subtract 1 from it, so it will be the 1. And the uh, normal vector 1 is actually this vector right here. So we will use that for this purposes. Basically, uh, that's about it. Now I just copy it for the y and the z coordinates. So y and z. Okay, that's about it. It was quite simple. Now we actually do the drawing. So gl vertex 3f and then we get the uh, what face do we want to draw. Just as simple as that. So I use the vertex vector the vertex vector will contain these numbers so all of the vertexes and then I get from this vertex so I use the index I get the actual face so for example in this case I will get uh, one two three four so I just get these indexes basically all that I do is that so in here I just use the faces I and then I get the faces 0 for the first vertex and I just subtract minus 1 because uh, so I just subtract 1 because you know the indexing because for this f uh, first number is actually the zeros index okay and I get from this the x okay and I do the same thing with the y and the z coordinate so I just control C, control V, and I just change it to Y and this one to Z. Alright, and now I basically do the same thing. So control C, control V, control V, control V, except that for the second uh, vertex I just use the faces 1. So faces 1, faces 1. The first vertex I use the faces 2. So face is 2, 2, and 2. And the last vertex I use the face is 3, 3, 3. So basically all I do that for the first vertex I get this 1. The second vertex I get the 2. And uh, third is for the 3. And yes, that's uh, what I do. Just um, if you don't understand that, just think about it. And it, will be, it is actually very simple, just seems a little bit complicated. 